welcome back my purple butterflies it's kayla coming um at you with a new video um please remember to rate subscribe and comment because i have some questions that i want your opinion on at the end of the video um so last night or early this morning about one o'clock i did wash my hair because i know i was supposed to wash it last week and i did not um and when i washed it i used a clarifying shampoo which was suave and I use a um, moisturizing shampoo, which was Shea Moisture Mafuka Oil or something to that effect. And I used a uh, Tresemme Natural Conditioner um, on my hair. And then to achieve this braid out, I use um, a leave-in, which is Kinky something, their leave-in. And I also use coconut oil, which is what I normally do. And I'm trying this new remedy that I got from Yanni of uh, the Lactation Her Channel, which is half um, or organic coconut oil and organic extra virgin olive oil and eight drops of tea tree oil. Since I have very, very dry scalp, so I am trying to get my scalp condition healthy before my lock date, which is the 25th. Um, so this is kind of what my hair looks like after a um, braid out with nothing else really on it. Um, my hair traditionally kind of curls up a little bit uh, after I wash it. It's just not as tight as my natural hair is. Um, and I'm trying to find this lock for you guys so you can see it. Because I did not have any unraveling, which is pretty flipping awesome. Even with, um, where the heck is it? Even with me conditioning and I have oil on my scalp. And I did not have any problems. And excuse this front part of my hair. I'm not sure why that didn't, um curl up right but whatever um it's in here it's stuck okay so this here is my um the four pattern and normally this hair is stiff to it's crazy it's normally pretty straight not cooperate not curl up at all um so it's not as pliable as my three but i'll be darned if it doesn't look really pretty in this braid out so that did pretty awesome um like i said no unraveling and then over here is my three and sh this is a v this uh tw lock is very pliable and it was even very curly um after i washed my hair with no manipulation and so this is what it looks like and like I said it did not unravel at all um, this four takes manipulation or otherwise it looks very very straight um, so I had been talking to my consultant about doing a different grid pattern because my density up here is really um, thin <laughs> Um, well, I guess it's not thin. It's not as thick and I know everybody has a scappy look when they first get their sister locks However, I don't know if my scappy look would ever go away because I don't have a lot of density up here So she was talking about doing the traditional I guess parting but when she put my locks in to do them in a brick overlay method So I'm not sure how that'll look. I tried to look it up But I hadn't seen anybody who mentioned that they in their sister locks that they have a different um the brick overlay method or anything like that so my questions for you to um, comment in the box is which pattern do you think i should go with the four or the three um and if you chose a pattern over the one pattern over the other and if it works out you know the pros and the cons of that pattern that would be great because i've been trying to scour the internet to see what others thought and it kind of varies so let me know what you think and also if you did a different um grid i, I guess is i don't know the best word to say um because like i said the part to be the same but just the way the locks are laid will be different so if you did anything different in that aspect let me know and if you have any regrets to doing it or how it's working out for you so i am definitely looking forward to reading those comments and definitely responding back um within a timely manner and before you leave don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and i will see you guys in my next video until then be safe be blessed and until next time